All right. Hello, everybody. Okay. I have not made a video in a while from this position. <laughs> and as far as a video to my ham radio friends, it's been a really long time. But I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you something very interesting. Just recently, I picked up a, uh, a new, some of you are going to cringe when I say this because you're Motorola fanboys. I picked up a Baofeng radio just recently. And, uh, but this is not an ordinary Baofeng radio. I picked this up from Radioddity. And this is it. Now, this is not the battery that came with it. Um, this looks like a UV5R, and this is also not the antenna that came with it either. Um, yeah, I just, I already had a couple of these batteries, and this antenna I already had, so I just slapped it on here, replacing the original. But yeah, this looks like a UV5R, but it's not. It's a variation. And this is a very special variation. It costs $24.99, which is what the UV5R also costs. So it's the same price. But this radio has a difference. This radio is called the GT5R. That's Golf Tom 5 Robert or Romeo, Golf Tom, Golf Tango 5 Romeo. Forgive me, um, I, I work in public safety and because of that I have to use both phonetic systems. So I am both a ham radio operator, a GMRS operator, but I am also a 911 dispatcher. So we use two different phonetic systems when we're on the radio. And I am on the radio all the time. But this is a rather unique radio. This radio is what the UV5R should have been 10 years ago when it was released to market. This is the GT5R from Radioddity for $24.99. Again, the same price as a UV5R. But this radio has mostly fixed the issues with the UV5R. First, the radio right out of the box. You don't have to do anything to it. The radio will not transmit outside the ham band. It will not transmit out of the 2 meter and 440 ham band. It is locked to the ham band for transmit transmissions. It will receive the very same frequency range that the UV5R will receive. But it will not transmit outside that range, either through memory channel or through VFO. Our frequency mode. Also, another thing they changed in this radio, which I applaud them completely, the spurious emissions, the harmonics that the UV5R has been notorious for, no more it has been fixed in this radio. It is gone. It is history. The spurious emissions are gone. Now, those were two of the biggest complaints by ham radio operators about the UV5R. It is the spurious emissions, the harmonics, and the, uh, the fact that this radio operated with a transmitter across the entire band segments that it could receive on. 
Well, all of that has been fixed with this. Now there is one remaining issue with the GT5R. This is something they did not fix. However, there is a very simple workaround. So one of the other complaints that I've heard many times is the microphone built in to the case of the radio. It is a very, very bad pickup for a microphone. And it sounds very muffled. The audio just sounds terrible. And yes, I actually will have to agree with my fellow hams that yes, this, this built-in microphone on the UV5R and all of the variants is terrible. I mean, it is lousy. However, there are two ways to fix this problem, two main ways to fix it. The first method is rather drastic, where you drill a hole into the microphone area and widen the input for where you speak and where the pickup is for the microphone. You widen that little area so that it has more pickup and it works but it means you risk damaging your radio and I gotta tell you I'm not really into that however there is a second alternative you uh, open up the side chamber and you get yourself one of these now what is this exactly this is a BTEC BTEC speaker mic. Um, uh, let me see if I can get this up here and in focus. Let's see if we can get that in focus there. So far, no luck. Come on, camera. Focus. Will you focus, camera? There it is. There it is. The QHM22 speaker mic by BTEC. And also, if you have a uh, UV82, if you have a UV82 radio, you'll want to get the uh, QHM22. I think it's D. So yeah, the QHM22D speaker mic. The D stands for dual PTT. So, you know, the UV82s have that dual PTT on the side of the radio, those two push to talk buttons. The speaker mic has two push to talk buttons, one on the side and then one on the top. And so that works for the uh, UV82. This will work on a UV82 as is, but the QHM22D works better. And these are only 20 bucks. Now, admittedly, the audio drive to the speaker is lower through the speaker mic than it is on the front of the radio. But the microphone pickup on this particular microphone and the QHM22D, superb. It makes up for the problem of that microphone that's built into the radio. So if you pick yourself up one of these GT 5Rs. Let's see if I can um, show this to you. Yeah. GT 5R from Radioddity. There we go. Now it focused back. Get it from Radioddity for $24.99. The spurious emissions, gone. 
the out of band transmitter stopped. No more. So the GMRS operators, the FRS operators, the MURS operators, they can't use this radio to transmit out of band. This, this radio now is confined transmission wise to the ham band. The Spurious emissions, gone. And then you add this microphone to this radio. You then take care of the audio problems. And this radio now delivers quite a spectacular amount of uh, good audio for the people you may talk to, either on simplex or repeaters. You're going to get a lot of compliments on the use of this speaker mic with this particular radio because this radio finally fulfills what the UV5R should have done 10 years ago. It finally fulfills what ham radios have been asked ham radio operators have been asking for for 10 years. Now I wanted to show you some other things. Um, for those of you that don't have the GT5R, um, say if you have a, a BFF8HP, say you have this variant of the UV5R, if you have this variant, um, there's a few things you can do. Um, you can't get rid of the spurious emissions of this radio. Um, this, the microphone suffers from the same problem, but is fixed with this. Hook this thing up to it, and the, uh, the complaints of your muffled voice will go away. They won't even know you're using a bow thing. But here's the key to this radio's success. This radio transmits out of band by default. But there is a little something you can do to fix this issue. And I hope to show that to you. I'm going to make a part two of this video. And hopefully I can show that to you. How you use chirp to limit to limit the transmit of this radio so that uh, if this radio falls into the wrong hands or if you let a ham, a fellow ham, borrow this radio but you know they, they want to play around with it and do all kinds of things and cause a little mayhem and chaos or whatever there are ham radio operators that are like that by the way just so you know. Not me, but there are some that are. So in part two of this video, I will show you how Chirp can shut down the out-of-band transmission of this radio by using software. Now, it can be undone, but shh, don't tell anybody. There is a way you can limit if somebody gets their hands on your radio and if they go playing around with it, if they enter the VFO mode, you can stop them from using your radio in the out-of-band areas in the frequency mode or VFO mode. Some people call it VFO, some people call it frequency. On the button here, it's VFO. But if you listen to the voice on the radio, it's frequency mode. <laughs> so yeah, for me, it's either one. But long story short, Chirp can fix that issue with almost every single UV5R variant. Every single one of these radios, the UV82s, the UV5R variants, and even this one, the BFF8HP, which is the 8-watt dual-band version.
variant of the UV5R. All of these Chirp software can limit that out of band transmission completely. You program in your channels, you forbid transmission on the frequencies that you know you should not have this radio transmitting on, and then you do a little trick under Chirp, under Settings, and the other settings submenu and there's a little part of that menu that allows you to confine this radio to the hand bands and I'm going to show that to you in the next part of this video part two thank you for watching bye for now